Hi, let's talk about grouping. So what is grouping? Let me show you. Imagine you have three widgets. To make a group, select them and then right click, group, or simply press Ctrl G. And as you can see, they are now one group and you can move them together. That's it. One cool thing about grouping is that you can control how the widgets will be ordered. So let's make the group act as a column. Simply select the group and press on column. Now all the widgets will be vertically positioned. And simply by drag and drop, you can change the position of the widgets. Or you can do the same by the outline. That's cool. Let me drag the column inside the screen. And then I want the column to take the whole screen. Now let's play a little bit with the column settings. So here you can change the main axis alignment for the column, which is the vertical for the column and the horizontal for the row. By choosing start, you make the widgets go to the start of the axis. End, where they go to the end of the axis, center of the axis, you can have the maximum space between the widgets, or have a nice distributed space between them, or have an evenly distributed space. So what about the other axis? Well, here you can also control the cross axis alignment, which is the horizontal for the column. We can make the widgets go in the start and center, or we can stretch them. So let's maybe put the widgets on the center. Another cool thing about a group, which is a column, is that if you added the widget inside, it will modify itself to stay looking pretty. Here you go. Now you know how to use groups in Noah. Stay tuned for amazing features and amazing tutorials. Happy building.